and we're rolling again. Seriously, this is like the fifth or sixth time that I've tried to film this, so I just cannot get this video off, but whatever. It's because I talk too much. Anyways, um, so today is Monday, January 10th, and I am coming to you with a mini haul. Uh, I had to take my son, who has medulloblastoma, which is a brain cancer, to the clinic today um, because we have these weekly clinic visits where we have to do a number of things. But one of the reasons why we go to the clinic is to check his counts and make sure that he doesn't need blood or platelets after chemo. And uh, so we went to the clinic today. Turns out he needs both blood and platelets. So guess who has two thumbs and gets to spend six hours in a clinic with her squirmy four-year-old daughter and her son? This chick, cancer rocks. It doesn't, but... At least I get six hours where I get to sit and read and knit and, you know. If I got to be there anyways, I might as well have a way to entertain myself. So it is what it is. But I said all that to say this. Since we were out today, because my son had a variety of appointments today, actually, um, when we got done with the clinic, it was a little too early for me to go to the school and wait for my other son to get out of school, but kind of too late for me to go back home and unload everybody out of the car and then reload them back in the car to go pick up their brother. So I took advantage of the opportunity. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. And I went to the Goodwill Bookstore on Otay Lakes Road. Uh, the address, I believe, is 2220 Otay Lakes Road in Chula Vista. And I was so pleasantly surprised. That store is gorgeous. Um, I thought it was just going to be these, like, books, like, haphazardly everywhere. You just had to kind of go and look and, and see if you found something that struck your fancy. But no, it looked like a little bookstore. And the books were uh, separated uh, by category. They were alphabetized by author. I mean, it was a wonderful shopping experience. I definitely give them two thumbs way up. I will totally be going there. And I didn't see any book there that was... Uh, more expensive than $6. So, now granted, I didn't look in all the books. I'm sure there's some that were, but, I mean, it, they had so many good, great, 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 great titles. I couldn't believe it. And I was just in there like, I want this one, I want this one, I want that one. And I told y'all before, I ain't got a whole lot of money, so I had to, you know, do what I could do and pick the ones that I wanted to pick. And so, I'm super excited about the finds that I got. And I'm going to talk about those. I also went to the library and got a couple books, and so I'm going to talk about those. And then I am going to talk about the book buying ban that I put myself on, so <laughs> I'm crushed. Yes, I'm on a book buying ban, effective immediately. But honestly, I've never, ever been able to effectively ban myself from anything, like ice cream, junk food, gratuitous sex. I'm just a self-indulgent person, <laughs> indulgent person. So we'll have to see uh, if I am able to successfully ban myself from buying books uh, indefinitely. Uh, because I've just been, because I've been doing these videos and I'm learning about all these really cool titles and things like that and I'm reading more, I have just been going and just, you know, buying books. You know, I'm going to buy a book here, I'm going to buy a book there. And even though I get my books secondhand and I really don't spend a lot of money on books at all. If I spend more than $10 on a book, it's like a, you know, big deal. But $5 here, $4 here, $3 there. It does add up. And um, after buying The Bluest Eye and hating it and spending $10 on that book and hating that book, I think that I'm just going to start utilizing my public library a lot, lot more and really only buying books that I really, 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 really want to have instead of just, you know, going off and just buying these books. And I mean, and I have some books that I may have necessarily not read, but I want to have them, like certain classics, I want to have them in my you know, collection of books, but um, I really think that I'm going to start instituting only buying books that I either read or I really, 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 really want, and not just kind of willy-nilly just buying whatever. So, with that said, let me talk about the books that I did get. So, I got uh, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the... Oh, the stupid lighting. Okay, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. I've read this book before. I read it when I was in the Navy many years ago. Um, and I really, really liked it when I read it. And then I, like, completely forgot that I had read the book and just completely forgot about the book and put the book out of my mind. And one day, something happened, and I was like, oh, that book. I remember that book. I read that book. And um, ever since then, I've been wanting to have it. And so I saw it there. It was $3.99. Um, it's, but with the exception of this kind of little, I don't know if you can really see it. See how the, this is? With the exception of that, it's perfect. Okay, <laughs> so, um, it's, it's perfect. There's no writing in it. It's perfect. And it's three ninety nine. So I was excited about this one. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to read it because I'm not rereading any books this year. So I won't be able to read it this year, but at least I have it for next year when I can reread. 
Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then I got the cat in the hat um, from my kids, ostensibly, which y'all know I be getting these children's books for me. So um, we didn't have a cat in the hat, strange. I mean, what American household doesn't have the cat in the hat? That has children and doesn't have the cat in the hat, but we didn't have a cat in the hat. So I saw the cat in the hat. It was two ninety nine. I got it for my kids. I'm really excited about this because I love Dr. Seuss and I love this book. So, um, I got the, this book. And then, the piece de resistance. The one that I am so excited about that I just could not believe that I found. It was completely serendipitous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Golem and the Jenny. Okay. I, first of all, I'm about to put a plug in for Goodreads. I love Goodreads now so much because I went to the store and I just had no clue what I wanted to buy. I was just going to see what I found. And so I was like, well, let me look through my to-read list and see if there's something on my to-read list that I really want to have that I happen to find here. This pops up and I was like, oh, shoot, that's right. They're probably not going to have it, but I'm just going to go over there anyways and just check. You never know. Kaboodle Blau, it was right there on the shelf, the Golem and the Jenny, and it was only six dollars holla if you hear me okay i was so excited about this first of all the cover is gorgeous the dust jacket is beautiful okay i'm super excited because i read the synopsis for this book and it has like really high ratings on goodreads and a lot of people said that it's really good and it's kind of like a fanciful magical book and you know that is my thing and then look at the pages they're like this pretty indigo blue i mean the book looks like magic okay so i'm just I'm so excited about this. I just, I, I gotta stop. Okay. Okay. I need to compose myself. So, yeah. That is what I got from the Goodwill Bookstore. Check it out. It's a really good store. I like that. I like it. I will definitely be going back in the very near future. Um, so, yeah. So, that was a Goodwill Bookstore. Then I went to the library. Um, our library has these books in the front that you can take for free or you can donate a dollar or whatever to the... Friends of the Library Foundation, and just all these books. I don't even know why they're there, but whatever. So I was like, well, let me go check out there, because I'm always down to get a free book. And I found The Hobbit there once, and The Red Tent. So it, you can get some, score some pretty nifty finds. And so um, I got a couple books there, and then I checked out a book. So I'll talk about the book that I checked out. I checked out I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. I cannot get this thing to, like, show. It's my lighting. There we go. I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. <laughs> uh, I got this by Maya Angelou um, because, like I said, I'm reading black... I've told you guys, I'm reading black books for Black History Month. I didn't have this. I need to read it. Yeah. So, pick this up. I, I still haven't read, finished Mules and Men, but once I finish... I have to bring this back in, in March. So, once I finish Mules and Men, I'm going to pick this one up and read it. Um, I couldn't find Black Boy by Richard Wright. They didn't have it. Boo. And so... Um, I wasn't able to get that one. And then from the free books, the ones from the front that I got, I got The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. It is thick. So honestly, this book is kind of freaky. Okay, I'm a little scared to read this. But it just had the most awesome reviews on Goodreads. Apparently, it's like one of those like literary giants kind of books. And um, this translation because it was originally written in Russian and this translation is supposed to be very 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 good so um I'm interested in in reading this and seeing if I like it um if I can get through it so uh because I'm I don't know anyways I, like I said, I like having classics. I like having classic literature and so even if I just never really get through it I would love to just have this maybe my son will read it who knows but hopefully I'll read it and like it. So we'll see. But this might be, I might like devote a month just to that book. Because it's like 700 pages long. And so I don't know that I'm just going to be able to just breeze right through that one. But I did pick that up and it was free. You can't be free with a stick. So it was free. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. And then um, I got this like weirdo book. Uh, the cover is actually what made me um, kind of get this. And it's called Brown Girl in the Ring by Nalo Hopkinson. And this is like a dystopian kind of... It's just a strange concept. But it's, it's the person who wrote, wrote, it, wrote it is a Canadian Caribbean. And um, it's this sort of dystopian novel. And uh, I don't know. Like it's, it's called The Brown Girl in the Ring. Um, and it just sounded... It looked really interesting and, and different. And um, it made me want to pick it up. And it was free. So, I mean, like I said, you can't be free with a stick. So, worst case scenario, I don't like it. And I didn't lose nothing but some time. 
So, uh, this one stuck out to me, and I picked it up. So, yeah, so there's my haul. Those are the books I got. I'm so excited about the Golem and the Jenny. Like, I just, oh, you have no idea. I'm really excited about it, and so I'm looking forward to reading those. And, um, sadly, I'm on a book ban, but, uh, I have plenty of books to read, so I need to quit complaining and shut the fuck up, okay? And just be glad that I do have books to read. And, uh, nine something ten, I'm, I'm saying that I'm gonna do the book ban indefinitely, but in reality, it'll probably be maybe a couple weeks. Who knows? I just, <sighs> me and my vices. So, anyways, um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow, right? Holler. Bye. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Let me just say this. I press the button for this thing to stop. And I'm always sitting here looking like a dodo, like, and I'm pressing the button. So, I don't know why that happens. Let's try this again. Bye.